Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and my gift to you is this video about creating a protective force field, an egg or bubble, also called an inner sanctuary. I will talk about the metaphysical reasons and why to use a protective bubble and uh, then we will create a protective bubble in a short meditation and we will test the bubble. Uh, can it be penetrated you know, by a small energy blast? Uh, nothing really full blown. And uh, then we will test uh, if the bubble can be penetrated by love and light. Because we don't want to just cut out the good stuff, right? And of course, if you're watching this, uh, you are most likely waking up. And I ask that you will absorb whatever knowledge resonates with you and is for your highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And so it is. Swaha. Ah, uh, well, first of all, um, I have had several high selves, you know, of my clients, you know, telling me uh, that we should all work really hard on creating a powerful protective bubble around us, you know, 24-7. Uh, because, you know, about for the next five years, we will have a lot of astral disturbances and we will have to have this type of protection, and, you know, down to perfection. Pucker. <laughs> so uh, this kind of Info also correlates to a possible future scenario that I explored with a good friend of mine uh, about 35 years ago. And uh, in, in those visions, um, people were actually gathered and collectively uh, visualized a protective uh, bubble around the community. Uh, when, you know, either there were destructive winds coming or also uh, toxic uh, clouds were approaching. And I have to say, you know, there were other things seen, you know, with this person or by this person under my guidance that have come true. So, you know, it was quite accurate, I have to say. Um, so, of course, you know, uh, what can be done in a community can also be done uh, for yourself. Uh, that's no use, nothing new. And um, so first of all, you know, our astral body, you know, is in layers. And um, so uh, what is an astral body? Well, basically, um, we as human beings exist on, you know, everywhere where there is matter, where there is vibration, where there is creation. You know, we exist throughout all the dimensions. Um, so to say, uh, you could, in a religious terms, you could say heavenly dimensions. Um, and in scientific uh, terms, you know, you could say on all frequencies and on all dimensional and dimensional spaces, so to say. You know, mathematicians talk about n dimensional spaces. They have no problem with this. And of course, um, also n dimensional space, you know, explains um, black matter that you cannot account for. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, oh my God, I'm just going off here. Uh, so anyhow, um, just like any organism, you know, any cell, any amoeba, you know, we have to have a well-defined border between what is us and what is the world. So these astral or these finer um, bodies that we have, so-called electromagnetic frequencies, you know, light, you know, it's on different frequencies, so to say. Um, so they are uh, interpenetrating each other, um, just like we have radio waves and other communication waves, you know, going through us, you know, interpenetrating this. And um, so uh, they are affect us mm -hmm. uh, when they can, uh, when there is not enough um, in like a separation. Um, as a good example, um, for instance, um, when people are on LSD, um, you know these borders, you know, are taken down um, that separate your perception, you know, from those of the environment, and. 
Um, for instance, um, I could, uh, when I was experimenting with these things, I could feel, you know, um, from the other side of a bar, you know, from across the street from a bar, um, I could suddenly perceive, you know, who were the pushers <laughs> and who were the junkies. Uh, because, you know, I could sense, you know, the uh, brutality um, that the pushers had to put up, you know, to keep the whining junkies away from them, you know, to make sure they get paid and, uh, you know, not get hustled all the time, you know. So it was uh, very interesting. I mean, not too comfortable, you know, feeling the anxiety and of the junkies and, I mean, even the pushers, you know, it's, it's not a nice feeling. <laughs> um, but, you know, this happens when these um, borders, you know, are taken down. And, of course, you should also know that uh, babies, you know, they do not have a protective shield around them and they should not be taken, let's say, to a heavy metal concert or even to the mall or, you know, places of negativity. And they should always be carried around you and you should not leave them at night alone. Otherwise, other astral beings have a feast with them. So it's not a cool thing, you know, keep them always with you. This kind of sling around and carrying around your baby actually makes them a lot smarter. Um, they're more exposed to the world instead of just sitting in a box and staring at the ceiling. Right? Anyhow, uh, so I mean, uh, for instance, I find like in schizophrenia, um, we know where, of course, also voices are being heard, but of course, also visions are being seen. Uh, uh, you know, I found there was just not enough a separation a membrane, you know, in that aura of these people. And I mean, it was awesome. You know, you could call in angels and all, and they could see, you know, all the glory <laughs> of this and receive it. Uh, but then, you know, any other ghost or a stray being, you know, could also right plug in right there. You know, as if somebody left the door open to their house and everybody can just walk in off the street. Uh, that was the situation there. <clears throat> uh, I'm, you know, not saying that every case is like this, you know, but um, this is like what I came across so far. Um, so... Uh, when, so we all, you know, probably uh, noticed, you know, when you walk in a room, uh, sometimes, you know, there is this kind of uh, piss mist, of, you know, from people that maybe they were angry in their uh, round or, you know, feeling of depression, you know, and even sometimes when we, you know, stand next to a person, you know, we suddenly feel pain in our bodies that definitely do not come from us but most likely come from the person next to us, um, especially as empath. You know, I have had that, uh, you know, suddenly my ovaries started to hurt. And, you know, I look around and next to me is this woman and, oh my God, you know, she had all the symptoms of ovarian cancer. And, you know, in her face, you know, uh, you could see it in the skin and other symptoms there. And I, I, I had to say, I, I could not block it. You know, I tried <laughs> and uh, I just had to leave. You know, I could not stay this. I could not block this. Um, not sure why, you know, uh, I saw it in a way as a defeat, but, um, you know, there might have been reasons I was not aware of this time. So, <clears throat> so you know, when our protection, when our force field is um, down, um, one thing it goes down when we are in low vibrations. This means, you know, when we are angry, for instance, that's a low vibration. We might be high energy, but low vibration. And I have to say, I picked up ghosts <laughs> when I got really angry in traffic, you know, in front of a hospital. I mean, that, you know, I forgive myself, of course, but I was really screaming angry. And I sure enough, I picked up a ghost. You know, uh, get into me. You know, I have to admit. Um, of course, you know, um, also when people are very depressed and they pick up ghosts or when they're very sick, you know, all these, you know, lower the uh, low vibration and lowers the protective shield. Also, um, it's an intoxication, whether it's uh, any kinds of, of drugs or alcohol, you know, when you black out you know, you have been taken over. And so spirits can come in 
uh, that could not come in normally you know, uh, because your vibration was high. Uh, and this includes anesthesia. You know, so when you are in an, have an operation and you're completely knocked out, um, there are chances that um, you know ghosts uh, get into you. And um, so <laughs> if you have a personality change <laughs> or if Uncle Willy suddenly is, acts very differently, uh, uh, you know, there might be, he has maybe a hitchhiker in there and you can do the clearing ghost meditations that I have or maybe you should, you know, ask a professional like me or somebody else that can do this, you know, and don't go into banishing ghosts, you know, that's not fair. That's not cool, you know, and it's temporary only. It's best to get them into the heavens, you know, not just banishing out. Right? It's, uh, it's not good. It's not compassionate. You know, they're lost. They're not criminals as such. Most of them are not criminals. They're just lost or crazy, so to say. Right? So, I mean, uh, so, <laughs> so places where, um, you know, uh, the... Uh, force field is down, you know, it's generally hospitals, uh, mental institutions, um, places, you know, of intoxication, whether it's a bar, or if it's a rave, or it's a crack house, you know. Um, so, you know, you have low uh, vibration there, you have uh, a ghost there, and other beings, you know, that like to get in and um, so these are places where you really want to have your force field up. Also, of course, um, energy vampires, you know, whether these are uh, professionals, <laughs> you know, this, they know what they're doing, like magicians, uh, or whether these are uh, just, you know, old or sick people, you know, that just, you know, uh, you know, suck your energy. Um, also, those you know have to be kept at bay by a powerful force field. And um, generally, you know, uh, people can visualize a bubble around them. That's very natural, a uh, natural shape that goes into you know, like a bubble, like an egg-like bubble, so to say. Um, but also, pyramid shape um, is uh, very good. Um, I mean, you can have um, uh, descending or ascending, and of course, if you merge ascending and descending, you pretty much um, get the Merkaba, <laughs> um, you know, which is a really, really good, um, you know, shape to visualize. And I have a whole video on this, a short video on this um, that you can look for. Just search under Merkaba and Wolfgang Tools for Ascension. Um, Another thing that many people do not, you know, realize, so that's, for instance, you know, you have to um, take the subway or a bus or you are in a crowd of people and, uh, you know, having like a big force field is not a good thing, you know, I mean, yeah, if you are you know, all souped up and charged up, people around you, you know, feel, feel great, um, but of course it will suck your energy and unless you're really an expert yogi, you know, it keeps pumping good chi into the environment, you know, or you're good, a chi gong master, this is fine, you know, you're a blessing to the place, but otherwise, <laughs> you know, um, they suck you dry, you know, and so um, you have to have, like, this good idea to just visualize like a spacesuit, you know, one of those clumsy NASA spacesuits, so your force field is like contracted, you know, close to your body, and actually, you know, studies have been done, and so they compared, you know, people from L.A. to people from New York. So in L.A. you have lots of people living together, but they're more spaced out, you know, uh, not so much skyscraper and just packed together like sardines in a can. And so in New York, you know, so the uh, people, they had a, you know, shorter aura. You know, it didn't extend that much in L.A., you know, much wider aura as such. So it's just so they don't interpenetrate. Um, also, you know, um, if your force field is strong enough, um, you can become, you know, transcendental. Um, you know, people talk a lot about transcendentalism and it's just a lot of uh, mental gymnastics. And, well, I studied philosophy and I mean, I understand mental gymnastics. Um, but uh, basically, <laughs> um, you know, to become transcendental, you know, to transcend, 
you know, the local mood that is around you and even astrological influences. Um, you know, and uh, let me just tell you, uh, I once uh, did for a couple of weeks, you know, the moon, how it's affecting, uh, you know, my psyche. And um, so uh, there was, you know, uh, one day where like uh, very troubling influences and oh my God, you know, there was a lot of anxiety in me. And once I realized that, I really focused on my force field, blew up my force field, and then I was just fine. You know, just, just going through life. You know, same challenges, but are just easy. You know, it's super easy, you know. The intuition was there, you know, nothing affected me. You know, I could have been in anxiety and flipping out, but, you know, I just cruised. You know, if you have a good force field, you know, you're just cruising. You are in the Tao, so to say. You know, you're in perfect harmony and balance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even if you know, like bad energy is slung it to you, and uh, most people, you know, uh, have envious thoughts and judgment, you know, constantly. They're not even aware of this. So, and your force field is strong enough, you know, this stuff doesn't stick to you. That's really important, you know. Normally it's said, you know, high vibration, yeah, but also, you know, um, high force field, strong force field, you know, that's just some high, you know, high vibration, but then, you know, uh, very weak, you know, that's not cool. And also, you know, very important for healers uh, to maintain an active uh, bubble, you know, during your session. So I've had like dark entities, you know, jump at me, you know, from through my clients at me. And so I don't really like, you know, to just block it and just, you know, push a chi <laughs> burst into my client's face, you know, that doesn't feel good. So uh, it's much better, you know, to, uh, you know, have a constant field up. So this doesn't happen. And also, you know, another tip, so uh, when, you know, like, a, you know, a demon being, you know, comes through and you can generally see, you know, the eyes start popping out more and, you know, they get dark sometimes, you know, and very hypnotic, uh, don't look into their eyes, <laughs> you know, unless you want to have like a battle of will for a while, you know, I have nothing better to do, you know, if you want to duke it out with a being like this, you know, go ahead, but... You know, just don't look in the eye and just invoke, you know, higher protection. All right. And uh, also, <laughs> uh, you as the healers, you know, are pretty much everybody, you know, every star traveler, you know, uh, crystal child, you know, or you are coming from higher consciousness to help out here in the ascension and upliftment of humankind. Uh, so do you want to, you know, keep your home clear, you know, of portals, you know, and dark energy, you know, on a regular basis, you know, and do also, you know, cord cutting with your ex-boxes, you know, with your ex-lovers, ex-husbands and wives. You know, we got guided meditations for this, but this is really important, you know, very important for you. I mean, it's kind of loosely related to your protective bubble that you have around. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get to it. Um, just uh, sit comfortably, and um, first of all, it's uh, important, you know, let's uh, ask, we asked uh, that, uh, we asked absolute source of everything and all the divine, uh, benevolent, loving beings to make sure that everything that comes, you know, from this uh, meditation here, from this knowledge, um, from this practice is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony, the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And so it is. Swaha. And so, um, first of all, um, let's, um, you know, I'm going to give you a short energy pulse um, to, um, so you can see if you can feel energy at all, you know, and how it feels like, you know, and um, just to get a little idea that this is possible. Right, and uh, so then later on we can test this. So uh, just just have a, just pay attention, and so uh, probably most of you felt it, and we asked the spirit guides to clear any damage that has been done by this. You know, maybe somebody's very weak. Mm -hmm. 
Let's just have the damage cleared. Amen. Cool. So just remember this. Uh, you know how that felt like. And uh, now um, just put your tongue to the palate and imagine that first of all you pull a lot of love you know from the earth you know into your whole body you know? just really uh, like a kung fu fighter you know before the fight you know you score you know and then in the exhale you just push this you know from your heart you know into like this egg shade you know bubble you know, that uh, goes around a meter uh, or three feet, like in every direction. It can be initially only a foot, you know, 30 centimeters. You know, there are no hard and fast rules. And to just keep pumping, so smile like an idiot. That's really important if you want to have nice energy. And just really breathe as deep as you can. And just to breathe this into this egg that you're visualizing around you. Keep on breathing while I'm talking. And now also imagine that through the crown, you know, from the top of the head, you're pulling it also love, you know, from the angels and from source, from absolute God. You know, this comes through the halo, through the crown chakra into you. You just pull this also in and send this into this force field that you created. And not just the shell, but also fill it with, let's say, gold. Like an Easter egg that you fill up with eggnog. So let's just breathe together. Um, let's just do, let's say, three minutes, something like that, mm -hmm. and see how this works. So I'm going to do a lot of talking to keep you going. So. Just push this into the force field, make it strong. You don't have to use the arms, but you can use the arms. You can also go like this. Pull it in and have one arm up, one arm down, like the magician in the Toro. And just keep pushing into this force field and just also fill this force field, this egg with this beautiful golden light. Uh -huh. Just keep on pushing, keep on breathing deep, 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 deep. And it should, yeah, it just should get more and more golden and radiant. Keep on smiling. If you get a little dizzy, just uh, focus more into your spine and into your heart. But just keep on pumping. Yeah. And spread it out nice and even, like all around. And also in the back. Just push them to the back. Mm -hmm. Just push it to the top. Push it to the bottom. Use your breath like a leaf blower or like a spray paint. <laughs> and adjust the energy, make it really sweet through the smile. You know, really sweet through the smile. I mean, you be living in this energy, so make it nice. Don't soil your own your own nest through a frown. Okay, so this was uh, maybe two minutes. It's just, um, you know, breathe a little bit more. And now focus on giving your um, your egg like a nice shine, you know, like uh, reflective uh, glasses, mirror glasses. Mm -hmm. So that reflects anything. And so now we asked our spirit guides, you know, to help and the angels you know, to program the shield properly. So we want it to be transparent to love and light and positive nourishment, you know, and sunlight, whatever is good for you. And we want it to filter out anything, you know, that's uh, not so good for you. 
like anything low vibration aggression you know like shock waves like you know i did with you initially so uh, whatever is not good for you we like to have filtered out and whatever is good for you you know we like to have we like you to have to be open for it. so let's just invoke this mirror Let's see it nicely. The crisper you can see it, the better. Uh -huh. But also will it and feel it. You should be able to feel it. The more you can feel it, you know, the better. Uh, yeah, maybe some of you smell. I hope it smells like roses. Okay, so this was uh, maybe three minutes, maybe four minutes. Mm -hmm. And so like open your eyes and oh, oh, close your eyes and see. So I'm going to, you know, give you a little push here. Um, just like before about, okay. So observe, you know, if anything, you know, if you got like still a pulse, and of course, you know, if you got a pulse through, uh, is it as strong as before, or is it weaker, you know, maybe a little weaker. So let's just, I'm going to give you another one. So, was it weaker? And then also um, try to um, figure out, you know, where did it get in? You know, for some people it might just come here, or some people it might just come here, or you feel it in the solar plexus. Uh, if you didn't pay attention, if you got it. Uh, so let's just do another one. Okay, and I kind of spread it out so it kind of gets even. And so, if you can localize, you know, where this hole is, well, uh, first of all, let's ask if there's a portal, yes or no. You may get an upflow of energy if it's a yes, and if it's a downflow, it's not. But whatever is causing it, whether it's a tear in there, or a hole, or a negative portal, we ask the angels to um, please clear this now, you know. Uh, without us having to look at it. To see if this works, now we give permission to the angels, please, to clear this hole or tail and fix it. Um, make sure you give permission. Let's just wait. And just visualize, you know, fixing this hole, patching it up, putting the mirror finish on. And let's give it another pulse. Let's see how this works now. Okay, if it's still getting through to you, um, I advise you, um, well, um, there is a bunch of things that would be good, uh, some of my videos. Um, uh, what would be here? Uh, yeah, first of all, you know, clearing negative portals. Uh, I just published this recently. Um, cord cutting. And also, you know, curse, curse and spell clearing. Very important. And also contract clearing. You know, all these create holes in your force field. Um, probably some other videos too, but that is a good place to start. <laughs> Any kind of trauma, you know, can... Uh, also ghost clearing, you know, can also, you know, stuff up those holes when this is done right. Yeah, those videos are there. And um, so uh, if the, there was any damage to you, uh, to your force field um, through those pulses, you know, we asked our uh, best, most potent spirit guides to clear this from you now. Um, and uh, I asked that any negative... Uh, uh, chords between us be cleared Amen on all levels and so let's talk a little bit more uh, about how to use this force field you know this is also very important so uh, uh, for instance um, you know I um, suggest that you use this whenever you go to the public uh, for instance, if you work in a big office, 
and you have to go to the bathroom. You know, probably everybody in the offices, they're bored out of their mind. They may just stare at you, uh, maybe have their judgment <laughs> and have their um, routine negative thoughts and judgments, you know, thrown at you. You know, and of course, similar stuff when you go to Walmart or anywhere else and, and, and you know, look at yourself, you know, how you criticize people at Walmart, you know, or if you go out to the meat market of your local nightlife, you know, everywhere, you know, you get criticized. There's envy, there's jealousy, there's lust attachment. Um, and, uh, you know, may even be negative entities around that trying to get into yourself or guys want to court you or women want to court you. So, you know, protect yourself, you know, put this protection up. You know? uh, really important, you know, even before you go to sleep. You know, uh, once you start doing this, you know, all the time it becomes a habit, just like hopefully, you know, you lock your car automatically when you get into the when you leave the car or you put your, you know, safety belt on. You know, this should be coming, you know, subconscious, you know, reaction. You know, that this is automatically on. You know, you will be needing this. So, uh, do your cyber stuff. You know, show gratefulness by giving me thumbs up or subscribing to my videos or telling your friends, you know, that might resonate with, you know, with the info that I have to offer you. Uh, of course, you know, if you can afford it, I uh, strongly suggest a private session. Uh, you know, uh, go on the fast track, just send me an email. And whatever you do, just smile like an Indian. You know, just like this here.